हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सैट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज जॉइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सैट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू एट देन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मस्ट बी ट्रू बोथ एक्स एंड वाई मस्ट बी पॉजिटिव फॉर एनी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई If x is positive, y must be negative for any value of x and y. If x is negative, y must be positive for any value of x and y. Select the correct answer using the code given below. This question is asked in 2018. This question is from number system chapter. Many of the aspirants, when they see these kind of theoretical questions, they think that they cannot solve. friends no question in csa demands mathematical proficiency all the test is your general mental ability so no need to be scared of any question just give it a try okay you will be able to solve most of the questions okay this is a trial and error question let's put some simple values of x and y and see if these conclusions are valid or not okay x minus y is equal to eight. Now the conclusion one is both x and y must be positive. Okay, must be positive for any value of x and y. This statement is not necessarily to my friends. If x is equal to minus two and y is equal to minus ten. Okay, now x minus y minus two minus minus y. Okay, this is equal to minus two plus ten. This is equal to eight. Okay. X and Y no need to be positive, my friends. They can be negative also. So conclusion one is invalid. Now conclusion two. If X is positive, Y must be negative for any value of X and Y. I am taking X as positive. Okay, X is equal to ten. Now it is said that Y must be negative. No need, my friends. Y can be positive also. If Y is equal to Then x minus y, 10 minus 2. This is equal to 8. This statement is valid. So this conclusion is incorrect, my friends. When x is positive, y can be positive also. Okay. So conclusion one is incorrect. Conclusion two is also incorrect. So I can eliminate option A, option B, option C also. Now our answer is option D, my friends. Okay. Now let's check conclusion three is valid or not. Okay. If x is negative, y must be positive for any value of x and y. Okay, I am taking x as negative, that is minus two. Now I have to disprove this must be part, my friends. Okay, y must be positive. Let's check with the negative values of y. Okay, so in this case, y is minus ten. Okay, x minus y minus two minus y is minus ten. Now this is equal to minus two plus ten. This is equal to eight. So even if y is negative, this statement is correct, my friends. Okay. So our conclusion three is not valid. So neither one nor two nor three conclusions are valid, my friends. So our answer is D. Very easy question, my friends. Trial and error question. Try with simple values. All you have to do is disprove the must be part. Okay. Whenever. Some must be present. You try to disprove it, my friends. Okay, why must be negative? Take the positive values of y and try to disprove it. Okay, here why must be positive? Take the negative value of y and try to disprove it. Okay, here x and y must be positive. Take x and y as negative and try to disprove it. Okay, this is what all have did, my friends. Okay, very easy question. To know more about the course, kindly visit csatmantra.com. If you have any queries, feel free to call us or mail us. Thank you.